Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are going to be having a look at Newcastle Central Station today, which was first proposed in 1836 by Richard Grange and Thomas Sock. It wasn't built in the days of the early railway companies and the railway mania of the time. There was lots of companies, lots of shenanigans, and an awful lot of things really going on as they fought each other. Now, they finally got round to it in 1846, and an architect called John Dobson was appointed, with engineers T.E. Harrison and Robert Stevenson. The figures, North East of England, Robert Stevenson, yeah. Okay, this was then building slowly but surely, very slowly apparently, and come, come 1849, one of the biggest shenanigan players of the game, Mr. Hudson, found his company in lots of trouble. They cut the uh, size of the place down, knocked the platform out and the covered carriageway, the hotel and so on and it got built then very quickly, just the engines, just the carriage sheds and there you go, it was done, opened in 1850 by the Queen and, and from there it was slowly re-expanded in the 1860s, 1870s and 1890s and various redesigns messing about with the layout inside, hotel built in the superb, superb building they have now, it came into being. We are going to have a look at it from the top of the Newcastle Castle. I hope you enjoy it. Well folks, that's the end of this little one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. Maybe make a comment, good or bad. I don't care. I'm too old. See you at the next one.